Now I gotta ride or die So the first test is noise outside. No noise outside. Double glazing all around as I move my cameras. This thing is is just another level of luxury. I'm so impressed with just uh, how it is as a car. I know that sounds silly because it's supposed to be good. It's you know the S class electric, like new. What I was thinking is it's sort of like what you would expect the S-Class to be in the future. I'm not saying that that's what's gonna happen. I'm assuming that um, Mercedes have you know, some good ideas as to what's gonna happen. The cameras, this camera should see this. The cameras are insane. As you can see, as you actually move, the camera moves round the car. You've also got a free, 3D bird's eye view of this, um, of this car as well, so you can sort of see what's going on. It is just effortless driving effortless driving and that rear wheel steering the pivot from the rear end as you can see then i actually can't maneuver the m4 around that part of the industrial estate i have to sometimes move in and out this thing is longer and wider and it was still able to actually get in and out which is such a just i genuinely got this thing thinking oh this is going to be so big it's going to be hard to you know sort of position especially in a say a three-point turn scenario as we come out of the industrial state that rear wheel steer I, I can't explain it you have to drive one and feel how that is because an Atoya Aristo right which I've had in the past that adds a slight rear wheel steer preludes from you know the early 2000s you know late 90s as I've said in this video already had the similar feeling of a rear wheel steer this is nothing like that and i haven't actually driven anything that's rear wheel steering quite a long time so this is like the new age version of that um mobility in a large car and again this is a very large car you park it in a parking space so we'll uh, get a bit of video when i drop this thing back it is huge it is massive this thing and the fact that you're able to actually maneuver it around it's needed that rear wheel steering cars this big ergonomically already talked about how lovely this interior is as you can hear they've got it down to a t with the way this car actually has that it, it just is silent and electric cars i always felt especially the first teslas that i was driving the first one i ever drove i always thought they really have to knuckle down on the idea that the mirrors can't make any noise and the glass has to be really thick and that obviously creates weight. This is 2.7 tonnes, I think, which is a lot, don't get me wrong, but you don't necessarily feel it. It's got air ride as well, so it does soak the bumps up really well. You can um, pick the car up as well quite easily if you wanted to go over you know, mounds of things and stuff. So it's quite, in my opinion, easy in that sense because of the rear wheel steer, because you can pick it up and this is what i was saying we were just saying to the guys at the shop this is like if you want to feel like when you get in this you're tired you know you want to go down the road you need to go do a trip you need to do whatever this is like the opposite of a normal car it is so nice to be in it is so calming it is so peaceful it is so luxurious that i feel like if i did a long trip in this i'd get out feeling better feeling you know like i hadn't necessarily done you know a couple of hours in this thing i was chatting to the guys at esplanade and funny thing is this is obviously used you know this will be used a lot around london i would say chauffeurs various things like that and i f i come to the and they were telling me that the driver's seat actually moves slightly throughout uh, the duration of your drive depending on how far you go but it actually moves slightly to keep you in a comfy position I love that. I love that they're thinking ahead in that sense for um, new cars, 
stuff, what else can they put in? And that's a really, really cool feature. I can't obviously show you guys how good the sound system is in here, but there is a sub right there, and it is insane. It is so loud, and it vibrates the floor when you're driving along. It feels like it, it, like you're at a concert. It's, it's mad. We will just go over to, as we've got a bit of stretch of road, we'll go to Sport. As you heard there, bit of sport mode engaged. I put my foot down, 30 mile out to 40, straight away up to 40 mile an hour. That's how it's not fast. 333 ish horsepower. It's not going to break your neck fast. We'll put it back into comfort because I really like the way this car feels in comfort. Um, as you heard again, it goes back into a different mode. It's not fast because it's big and it's luxurious and it's not supposed to be. That's not the idea of this car, but it definitely has some pace on it. When you do put your foot down, it is instant power like every other electric car. Negatives, again, I used to do car reviews a lot, not really doing a car review, just sort of talking about how I feel about this thing. Not really many, price, but everything's expensive. The new E63 is a hundred grand when you start. So I mean, we can't really quabble over pricing mainly because everything's that price these days. Everything's very expensive. This one's 108,000 pounds spec. You can spec these right up with massive screens and various other things. Um, you know, 120, 130 if you so wish to. I feel like I really want an S-Class at some point. I hope they're as good as this. <laughs> Not that I'll be able to buy a brand new one, don't get me wrong, but I feel like if you could get away with uh, the later generations feeling like this, I'm so happy that the newer generations feel like this. When I get a chance to drive something like this, it makes me feel so good. Like the Range Rover we had on the channel last week, uh, the new Vogue. My opinion is that I'm glad to drive these cars because one day they might be cheap enough for me to buy. And that makes me feel really, really good. It makes me feel really good. And if you do have, of course, the money to buy one of these, you'd be silly not to. I do feel like if you're rivaling a Tesla on this, I haven't driven a Tesla in a while, but this is like very car-y, like as in luxury car, as in the cars that I like. I love a big Lexus, love a big Mercedes. That's how that feels. It doesn't feel like an electric car disguised as a, a you know, a, a luxury car. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like a luxury car with an electric engine. And I don't feel like, styling-wise, it's that out there. It just looks massive in the road, don't get me wrong. It looks big in a parking space. But I don't feel like it looks futuristic and crazy to the point where you don't like it. So that, for me, is like a general idea of this car is it is so comfortable, effortless, luxury, and I feel like if this is what they're doing now, this will trickle down, as I've said in the past, um, especially when I used to do car reviews a lot, look at that, the rear wheel steer, you can just feel it. I hope you guys understand, I, I know you probably don't get it on camera, but the feel of the back end going around, it feels so different. I'm not going to say weird, I'm not going to say off-putting at all, it just feels like you can get around anything, get in and out, and it's helping you. It feels like it's helping you. It doesn't feel like it's hindering you at all uh, with that rear wheel steer. It feels really flowy. It's not judder, you know, it just go like this, which is quite nice. I was expecting it to be a bit more like this. As we come up to a bit of traffic, let's talk about the inside before I do leave you guys. Huge amount of space in the back. I mean, my seat is quite far back and there's still loads of room in this, which is good. The roof, when closed, silent when open you can hear it but i mean everything else is silent so of course you're going to hear wind noise in certain bits and bobs sound system's insane ambient lighting is on the next level i mean it's all up here as i've shown you guys and i must admit it's a hatchback s class is what it really is it's, an, it's a hatchback for the s class owner out there so if you wanted a bit more not necessarily space but you wanted a hatchback in that sense because the hatch goes up but you wanted a big luxury car. This is the new version of it. And ergonomically, gonna say again, it is really just easy to use in here. I didn't feel daunted when I got in it. And sitting in traffic, no radio on, no nothing. It's just peaceful in here. Such a peaceful place to be. And yeah, I think if you're after one, Go and do it, as I hear a rev from a car next to me. It's odd going from the M4 into this, because this is like the complete opposite end of the spectrum. It's still got a bit of pace to it, don't get me wrong. It's not slow, but it just feels like you really are in something special. It feels like a luxury hotel in here with the materials, the lighting, 
uh, and the feel of the seats as well they're really really comfortable so what i'm going to do now is end this video here thank you so much for watching if you do like this um you know gopro part of the video please let me know in the comments below because i will do more of this thank you again to esplanade for letting me take this car out and my closing thoughts on this car is that it's just so well executed luxury electric new age car hard to pin down in a sense because a lot of automakers are doing that tesla i do believe are relatively luxury in what they do in some of their sectors but mercedes have really really pulled it off here and i'm so glad i was able to, to drive this car because it is just so nice but thank you so much for watching again thank you to esplanade let me take this car out we'll see you guys tomorrow